Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Plunderlings Fawn Grotto, and it comes in that amazing packaging designed by Wicked Rabbit Art, and I just love the packaging that these Plunderlings come in. The top of the box has a window where you can see the extra heads and hands and some of the goodies inside the box, and it does say Plunderlings with that nice crate design going around it. Both sides of the box continues with that crate design showing the skin of the little plunderling that's on the packaging and the skin color does match the plunderling that's actually in the package. On the bottom of the package it does continue with that crate design and instead of big old feet with a bunch of little tootsies on it we got ourselves some hooves because Grotto is a fawn. This time around, Lone Coconut, they didn't just take a picture of the figure with a dio, which I'm okay with because I'm a fan of fig photography, but instead they did artwork for Grotto on the back, and the artwork's amazing. I don't know where Lone Coconut finds their artists, but their artists are on point, and this is a beautiful piece. Just like all the Plunderlink packages, you get little ear attachments you can attach to the box. Now you can see on the right side over here, it's a little bit mangled. Um, because I tried doing it from the inside out, which usually works, but don't do that or else you'll mess up the actual earpiece. You can actually, there's like a little part that has a line on the part that's inside. You can just fold that up a little bit and then force it in from the outside and you don't have to worry about getting any damage done to that piece if you're trying to keep it nice and crispy and looking good. Here's a close-up of the read-up information from the inner sleeve of the packaging. Out of the package, Grotto comes with that smirking head equipped, and it's not your typical plunderling head here. We do have some earrings in each ear, and then we have a set of horns that wrap just right around his ears, and they look amazing. Here we have an up-close look at one of the other heads that Grotto comes with, and it is that cheese and smiling expression, except again, we got the earrings and we got the horns and everything looking awesome and they did do a like purplish pink for the gums so it does stand out from the red of the figure taking a up close look at the last head sculpt we get and it is that open mouth teeth showing expression and again i just love the expressions that these have and it has the earrings the horns and you can see more of that darkish purplish pink for inside the mouth and it looks great Grotto comes equipped with a pair of open palm hands. Just, you can have them reaching out to you for a hug. Grotto comes with a pair of grippy claw hands. And I love the hands and how they have black painted nails and they have like a gloss to them. Looking fantastic. The first accessory we take a look at that Grotto comes with is a flute. It's done really well. The sculpt work is there. Uh, it's painted gold, which looks nice. And it's a hard plastic, so you don't have to actually worry about equipping them and then over time this drooping this is gonna stay its shape grotto doesn't come with any clothing accessory but i mean when you got a set of horns i mean do you really need any extra clothes so instead we get this nice scimitar made out of that hard plastic so no drooping gonna be happening with this sword painted and sculpted beautifully this is a solid looking accessory and yeah it just looks really really good an up close look at grotto and grotto is adorable Again, I love the earrings, the horns that wrap around, definitely making this plunderling a fawn. And it's got little purple dry brushing or airbrushing on the elbows and knees, little butt cheeks. And one thing that's crazy, it's like they didn't give them pants or any fur or anything. They're just naked and it makes it stand out. It's its own unique little plunderling. And then uh, you see the purple on the knees. And then we even have something very new. Uh, it's all blurry, but we get these hooves here and they have awesome detail on them. I mean, they're brown, they're round, they're hooves. Now let's go ahead and dive into articulation with this little guy. His head is on a disc ball joint, so you can get him to look down quite a bit. You can get him to, oops, head spins, uh, look up quite a bit and tons of like attitude that you can get. I mean, 
all that you'd want with one of these little creatures and his arms can go up you know full rotation here the disc hinge we get an elbow bend and it pivots at the elbow wrist rotation and wrist bend and the great thing about this figure and and plunderlings in general when they're weapon wielding hands they hinge the right direction which is good uh we do got this ab crunch here then we also have the uh thigh cut here double jointed knee i was gonna say double jointed um legs can do the splits quite well and then we get this uh newer design for the hoof it does have uh ankle bend and pivot in this hoof well both hooves obviously and then you got the little uh butt cheeks <laughs> on these guys they're adorable Plunderlings are so expressive. Even with the fawns, they look awesome. You just have Grotto there smiling and waving at you. Meanwhile, hiding a giant scimitar behind its back like, hey, come close and I'm going to take your head off. Grotto is definitely a fun figure to pose around. And I mean, with the sword, it just adds more mischievousness to the actual figure. And they're just fun to pose up. Get them into a nice little I'm going to hack your head off pose with that giant scimitar. Now, if you don't want your grotto to be mischievous or wielding a scimitar to hack down a foe, you can actually just have him waving at a random traveler, inviting him over to listen to him play his flute. And these figures, again, are amazing. Lone Coconut is just knocking it out of the park with these figures. And they're just cute and adorable and just really well made. Here we got a little group shot of Zombone, Grotto, and Cheddar, and they look great together, as they should, and I just love the color variety. Now, Grotto, if you want, you can just have him all menacing and be like, Meh. and he stole Cheddar's mohawk, and this looks really good. I love the color contrast between the color of the mohawk and Grotto's skin color. It looks awesome i did try to put zombone's mask and it doesn't really work due to the horns but it's still cool that they still implemented the magnets in these heads as well even with hooves grotto's balance game is on point you could just have him running around frolicking through the lands and it's again these figures pose very well and i was really surprised i can get the balance going on with one hoof because they are smaller than the feet the plunderling fawns are amazing they're just as good as their brothers and sisters of the plunderling family and lone coconut nailed it with the designs the accessories that they come with it's a solid solid release and i couldn't be happier i'm so happy to have grotto as part of my plunderling collection and that really sums up my unboxing and review of Lone Coconut's Plunderlings Fawn Grotto. If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. It'll mean the world. Hit the silver bell notification if you want to stay in the know when I post up a new video. Make sure you guys go check out Lone Coconut and Plunderlings. Their websites and links are down below. And also check out Toy Code Toys and Collectibles. The website's down below and a promo code for you guys to get free shipping on Toyco's website. And make sure you check out Toyco's pre-order group because that allows you to stay in the know with collectibles. A lot of imports like Storm Collectibles, um, Figma, SH Figure Arts. Just don't be that person paying ridiculous pricing on the secondary market because you missed out on a pre-order. So check out Toyco's pre-order group. And most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.